what's up, everybody? One week ago, right here on First Local Sports, we profiled Carmen Sandor, a 16-year-old tennis star who trains with Josh Bornstein, the head pro at the Thornhill Park Tennis Club. Well, Sandor is not the only talented female serving one up on the hard court. Mike Arcelides takes a closer look at another future star in this report. Nikki Balowescu is only nine years old and already she's one of the top youth tennis stars in Ontario. But according to her father, the youngster who's only been playing for three years has much bigger dreams than most kids her age. Definitely the most important thing is that she enjoys. Other uh, aspect is her very, very big desire to be number one in the world. It's something that a lot of people are smiling about, but she's very serious about this. So she's very tough, even being so young. So for the little woman who loves pizza and looks up to Novak Djokovic and Maria Sharapova, what is training like? Well, I have five days a week. I train five days a week. Um, I usually play like four hours a day. I train really hard. I hit some balls, rally hard, consistency. Her coach for the past six months, Josh Borenstein, says Nikki is a real gem because unlike most players, she tackles opponents almost double her age, recently earning a one-year sponsorship from winning the under-12 Dunlop Master Series in Thornhill. Well, for a nine-year-old, she, she doesn't play her age group, and that her age group's under 10. She usually plays under 12 all the way up to under 16, so that's quite remarkable for a nine-year-old to play from under 12 to under 16. While she is well accustomed to playing girls much older than she is, in the month of April, Nikki will be headed to Calgary, Alberta for the under-12 national championships, where she looks once again to express her dominance. Right after Nikki left the court, former tennis pro Thornhill's Rob Steckley took part in some practice with a youngster. Earlier this year, the three-time national champion called it quits following a devastating rotator cuff injury. I'm here actually uh, by choice. I, I decided this year I'd stop playing uh, on the professional circuit and playing for Canada and I'd take up coaching and try to help younger athletes that struggle with w with their game and I just I, I don't see enough you know enough uh, player slash coach that go through the professional rankings that come in and uh, try to help younger athletes so I'm, I'm uh, en route to trying to help Canada produce more players. Besides mental and physical exhaustion, funding also became an issue as the injury not only hurt his record, but his ability to gain sponsorship. At my sort of position and my age, you know, when you start to go over the hill and you, you find yourself with an injury, they're not as willing to put forth the money and time and effort. So I do struggle with that. And that was one of the other decisions that, that held me back from playing on the circuit. In the time being, Steckley looks to continue mentoring and hopes to one day move to Hawaii to become a pro surfer. Luckily for him, he already looks like one. In Thornhill, Mike Arcelides, First Local Sports. There are only two teams still undefeated in the Ontario Provincial Junior Hockey League, and both are from the York region. The Markham Waxers and Newmarket Hurricanes, although they play in different conferences, are both perfect at 11 and 0. Newmarket hopes to remain El Perfecto after tonight's meeting with the Huntsville Otters. This contest tonight can be seen live right here on Rogers Television. Dave Cadeau, Russ Harrington and myself will have all of the action beginning at 7.30 p.m. and coming to you from the Ray Tweeney Recreation Complex in Newmarket. The Canes will be in tough as the Otters post a record of 10-2. The Stouffville Spirit are also in action tonight as they welcome the Seguin Bruins to the arena in Stouffville. Puck drop for that contest is also 7.30 p.m. Now before we go, let's take a look at the standings in the Northern Conference. The Canes are sitting in the first position, perfect at 11-0. And, and then if we look down those standings a little bit, you will come across the Stouffville Spirit, who with a win tonight over Seguin can tie the Aurora Tigers for fourth place. That will do it for sports for today. Stick around. Phil's got weather after the break.